There's a story of Kalipada Ghosh how um, long before he became a devotee of Sri Ramakrishna, his young wife harassed and troubled. She came, she heard there's a great sadhu in Dakshineshwar. So she came to Sri Ramakrishna, this young girl, and said, my husband is... He neglects me, he wastes money at, at, at home, and um, he, is, he drinks, and I don't know what to do about him. She burst into tears. Can you help me? And Sri Ramakrishna said he, was, he would never get involved in these worldly things, you know, the cure my disease, get me a job, and things like that. He said, no, 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 I don't do these things. And uh, she kept on importuning him. Then he said, well, in that room across there, there's a lady who can help you. Not me. He meant the Holy Mother. <laughs> Go there. And uh, so he got rid of her. So she, she went there and went to the Holy Mother who was embarrassed. She said, no, I'm nothing. It's all that, that is, is there. It's, that's him. He is, uh, you have to ask him. I can't do anything. I'm just an ordinary woman. Then uh, this poor girl, what could she do? She went back to Sri Ramakrishna and Sri Ramakrishna said, no, 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 she's just um, putting you off. I don't do these things. Go back to her. <laughs> so she went back. And once or twice like that when she went back and forth. But you see, here's the difference. She has a mother's heart, the Holy Mother. And she finally said, all right, my daughter, come. And she offered she offered some flowers to the picture of Sri Ramakrishna in the in the in the puja, and she gave him some. She gave her the little the young girl something and said, "Take this, and t take the name. Repeat a mantra. Your husband will be all right." And the girl went back with faith. And nothing happened. Things continued the way they did. But twelve years later, Kalipada Ghosh who was a friend of Girish Ghosh, another, <laughs> who, he, uh, the great dramatist, but who was also addicted to drink, and they were good friends. So Girish Ghosh brought Kalipada Ghosh to meet Sri Ramakrishna. And so Kalipada Ghosh, he was slightly inebriated that day also. He stumbles into Sri Ramakrishna's room. And many people are there. And Sri Ramakrishna, who had never seen Kalipada Ghosh, he had just seen, her, uh, seen his wife 12 years ago, just for a few minutes. As Kalipada Ghosh stumbles, stumbles into the room, walks into the room, Sri Ramakrishna says, Look, there he has come. He has harassed his wife the last 12 years. Nobody understood what, <laughs> what he is speaking about. It's only made sense much later when the whole story came out. And, um, and there's a very beautiful st story which goes on, you know, how Kalipada Ghosh says, uh, what, what do you want? Sri Ramakrishna asked him. And Kalipada Ghosh says, Do you have something to drink? <laughs> And Sri Ramakrishna says, yes, I have, but is, um, if you take mine, what I'll give you, then you will lose the taste for all other kind of drink. It's so powerful. And Kalivada Ghosh is puzzled, is it uh, Indian or British? <laughs> 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 And Sri Ramakrishna says, and people around were, were furious because of this, uh, didn't understand what was going on. But actually, the subtext of this, Sri Ramakrishna understands and Kalipada somewhere deep into, inside his heart, because he's also suffering, he understands. And Sri Ramakrishna says, no, it's entirely Indian. <laughs> <laughs> but if you take it, that's it, you will forget everything else. And so it's such a powerful drink. And Kalipada Ghosh in tears, he folds his hands and he says, give me of thine drink, that's what I want, Master. And so he becomes a disciple of Sri Ramakrishna. And there's that beautiful incident that a few days later he keeps coming to Sri Ramakrishna. Very touching incident. That he was a rich man. Uh, he, one day Sri Ramakrishna is getting ready to go to um, Calcutta on um, his horse, um, horse uh, buggy. But Kalipada Ghosh comes across the river Ganga and he says, come with his boat. And he says, come with me, I'll take you across the river to, to Calcutta. So, and Sri Ramakrishna, not suspecting anything, like a child, he says, all right. He gets into the boat and Kalipada asks the boat to be launched and they go across. And in the middle of the river, Kalipada Ghosh orders the boat to be stopped. And then he goes and falls at the feet of Sri Ramakrishna and catches hold of his feet. And he says, have grace upon me, Master. Bless me. And Sri Ramakrishna is flustered. What's this? Start the boat. What's going on? 
said, no, until you bless me, I will not, we will not go any further. We'll stay here in the middle of the river. He said, bless you with what? You, know, you have to bless me. And then Sri Ramakrishna initiates him, gives him a mantra there. Imagine Sri Ramakrishna, avatar and incarnation, gives you a mantra there. And Sri Ram and Kalipada Ghosh says, no, that's not enough. You have to bless me. And Sri Ramakrishna says, all right. You don't even have to repeat the mantra. It will do its own work. Uh, it will work by itself. So now let's go. And Kalipada Ghosh says, no. You have to bless me. And Sri Ramakrishna is at his wits and he says, what more do you want? What is it that you want? And finally Kalipada Ghosh says what is in his mind. He says, the day I die, at that time, and he describes it so vividly, and it all came out true later on. He must have seen a dream or something like that. Otherwise, how can he describe this? He says, the day I die, at that moment I die, at that time, I will see darkness. All my relatives will be gone and I will be alone and dying. I shall see darkness. At that moment, I want you to promise that you will come for me. You will have a, he says, you will have a light in one hand and in the other hand, you will take my hand and take, guide me through the darkness. Tell me you will do that. So such a vivid description. I think he must have had some kind of particular dream. So tell me you will do. I want a promise from you. And Sri Ramakrishna says, oh, all right, all right, that will happen. <laughs> oh, he said, that's, that's all right, let's go. And so they start. And then he became, you know, that he became such a well, close devotee. He helped the, Sri Ramakrishna passed away in 1886. But Ghosh helped the new monastic order, helped Vivekananda and many others when they were struggling. And at the end of his life, there's a beautiful description. He was surrounded by relatives uh, in his Calcutta home. And he had a picture of Sri Ramakrishna and the big picture and all of that. But at the last, at that time, I think it was Latu Maharaj who was visiting probably. Um, one of the disciples, of a monk. And the relatives thinking that the Swami has come, they wanted to take a break from nursing the, this, their dying relative. And so they went. And at that moment nobody was there except the Swami. And suddenly Kalipada Ghosh spoke out his last words. Master, you have come. You did not forget. You did not forget me. You have come. And can't you see that he has come? Put, a, put out a seat for the, for, the, for the master. He has come. And he passed away. Anyway, I told you the story at, at length because it's such a beautiful story. But devotion to God, it can replace. Connect whatever you are doing, even a worldly weakness. Try it. Connect it with God. Not in order to indulge in order to transcend it.